A big thank you to Curlin for sponsoring today's video. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about some of the curly accessories that you can find on Curlin. Curlin is an Instagram store. I featured them before on this channel and I also have a discount code with them which is Michelle5. And today's video also has a giveaway. So if all of this sounds like something that interests you, then keep watching. In today's video, I'm going to be featuring some of the curly accessories by the brand Curlin and the first one brings me so much joy. So this is a shower cap that is satin lined. It is completely made out of plastic on one side and it has satin on the other side. I can think of so many uses for this. Let's say you're a beginner and you don't have enough money to spend on a heat cap and you want a deep condition, then all you have to do is turn it inside out and you have plastic right here, you can deep condition. Maybe the satin would help keep some of the heat in while you're deep conditioning and when you're showering, you can just turn it right side in and use it as a shower cap. That way your curls are protected when you shower because of this beautiful satin. I really like the print. A lot of you ask me for solutions for when you're showering and you don't want to get your hair wet and this is absolutely perfect for that. So I just put it on like so, again extremely cute and it has these little adjustable nada thingies, I don't know what to call them, to make it as tight or as loose. So. Let's say I'm showering and it's not my wash day and I want to protect my hair and I've just done my hair, maybe it's day two, maybe it's day three. I don't want to get my hair wet. This is something that is so handy for those days. Once I'm done, I just take them off and I'll just let my hair down and that is it. This is such a super simple way to protect your hair when you're showering. Next, we have this really pretty pineapple keeper by Curlin. The pineapple keepers come in self colors and they also come in prints. They have velcro options as well as elastic options. I like the elastic a little better because I like the aesthetics of it. The elastic is decently loose, they don't grip on the head very tightly and they also have a lot of stretch in them. To wear it, I simply put my head in a pineapple and keep it out of the way. Bring the pineapple keeper around my neck, redo my pineapple as per my liking and then bring the elastic band to my head. Adjust it a bit and there you go. This is a boho look that I would definitely sport when I'm going out. It's effortless, great for days when my hair doesn't look that great. Super casual, very protective and also such a serve. Next, we have a satin bonnet, which is with a lycra band, and so it's adjustable. It is reversible, so you can wear it on this side, and you can wear it on the other side as well, since this is completely reversible. And since the lining is lycra, you get quite a bit of stretch in the band, and so you can adjust it as per your comfort. This comes with a really nice adjustable lycra band. So as you can see, it's it has a lot of place. I have a feeling that if you have migraines and you can't deal with things that are too tight on your head, if you keep this pretty loose, it's not gonna fall off. It's gonna stay on your head and this is gonna do a pretty good job to tame your frizz and prolong your wash day. As I've shared before, I tend to suffer from extreme migraines. So let me share some tips that have helped me wear a bonnet. To wear the bonnet, I put my hair up in a pineapple, make sure that the pineapple is loose. Then I take the bonnet and stretch the band out completely. The satin straps are pretty long and so you won't have any issues stretching and tightening up the bonnet later. Then place the bonnet on your head Push all the hair into the bonnet gingerly and then tie the straps up in a bow. 
Then push the bonnet behind your ears. This step is really important because sometimes I've noticed that when you feel claustrophobic, then that can trigger migraines as well. Also, a lot of us tend to have on headphones when we're going to sleep. I would suggest you don't do this. Make sure you're not wearing any headphones. Make sure you have nothing covering your ears. Push the bonnet back as much as possible and make sure that it's very loose. These are some of the tips that have enabled me to wear a bonnet without triggering my migraines. Hopefully these could help you as well because to be very honest, wearing a bonnet is the best way to prolong your wash day results and to also prevent frizz. So no matter how unruly you are as a sleeper, I feel like this is something that has a good chance of staying in place and if it doesn't, you have your satin covered pillow that's gonna make sure that you have like double protection. Next we have a satin scarf and this comes in a really really big size and again the print is to die for. This is giving me my 60s flapa fantasy and I'm so here for it. One of the ways in which I use a satin scarf is to cover my pillow especially when I'm traveling. Most hotels won't have satin or silk pillowcases and there's no point carrying your own pillowcase when you travel because obviously the pillow sizes are going to be different. And so this is just a simple fix. I simply turn my pillow upside down and then tie the scarf around both ends. And just like that when you're traveling and you don't have satin pillowcases, in your hotel room you can just use a scarf and I'm gonna use this to protect my hair while I sleep so that I don't get excess frizz. You can also use a satin scarf as an accessory when you go out. There are multiple ways in which you can style a satin scarf. This is one of the easiest ways. I start with a pineapple, then I fold my scarf in a triangle. Fold it down once more. Take it from behind my head, bring it forward and then tie a knot. Double up if you have hangy bits. Also make sure to tuck the back part so that it looks nice and neat and it looks like one straight line. And there you go. Next we have a hair buff. This is a stretchy hair buff that you can use to protect your curls at night when you go to sleep. If a bonnet is not for you, then this will definitely come in handy. Again, there are so many ways to use a hair buff. I'm showing you how to use it at night when you go to sleep. Get your hair out of the way for now. Bring the hair buff around your neck and then tie your hair in a loose pineapple. Bring the hair buff around your forehead. Push the hair down. Fold the ends of the hair buff. Then you're just gonna twist and then tuck it in. And again, even though this is a nighttime look, I still think this is such a serve. Next, I also got sent two headbands by Colin. And the best part about these headbands are that they're really nice and broad. Most of the headbands that I've seen in the market are very thin and so they wouldn't look that great on me. I feel like this size is so much better aesthetically because as you can see, the bands are really thick. And so you can adjust them as per your comfort and make them look really pretty.
Let me quickly show you how to wear the headband. I'm starting in a ponytail. I'll keep some face framing sections aside for now. Then I'll take the headband and then position it as per my preference. And then I'll undo the rest of my hair. I also got a scrunchie with a bow so I can tie this up however I want and again such a pretty print. I feel like they really nailed the print of these things and this is like a regular scrunchie. I can also choose to take this ribbon out and this little ribbon I can put this also to great use. I can use this to tie my hair. I can use this to keep hair out of my face. This itself, I can use in so many different ways. Over here, I'm showing you how to use like the strap or the band of the bow scrunchie. This makes such a cute headband on its own. Very 70s. Next, I'll do a simple loose high ponytail. I wore this hairstyle in my Ajio haul. I think I got a request for it. And so I'm showing it to you here. Again, this is so bohemian, so effortless, and also looks so different and unique. Next, I'm going to show you the scrunchie in a pineapple. Again, very cute, very boho. Just adds that little something to your pineapple. And next, I'm going to show you a half up to. I'll start with my hair in a side part. I'll take out some face framing clumps from both sides. And then I'm going to do a simple twist up. Then I'll take both the twists to the back, pat down the crown area and then secure it all with a scrunchie. This hairstyle is great for people who are transitioning. I wore this a lot when I first started CGM. Next, we have the scrunchies from Curlin. And as you can see, the scrunchie is pretty different from the usual scrunchies that you get. This is like a little donut, so I feel like it's stuffed with something. If you want your scrunchie to be super visible, then this feels like the perfect option. The scrunchies are pretty luxe. I feel like this would last you a really long time. This is washable, of course, and really pretty in my opinion. This look is totally serving Claudia Kishi from the Babysitter's Club. And last but not least, I got these three little bows. One is in a bigger size and these are in smaller sizes. These are also so pretty. I feel like the prints are so amazing and I can definitely put these to great use. I've shown you how I achieved this bun in my wavy curly hairstyles video. I'll leave that video in the description and also in the cards. And here I'm just going to show you how I accessorize it with a big bow. The second look I've also shown you in my wavy curly hairstyles video.
So now let me talk about the giveaway. So this giveaway has two winners. The first winner gets a flaxseed heat cap. As we all know, that has to be one of my favorites from the entire range that they have to offer. And the second winner gets a satellite bonnet that has a Lycra band. So what do you have to do to enter? All you have to do is be subscribed to this channel. Leave me a comment down below. Head over to my Instagram where you will see a post that I have just put up about Curlin. And all you have to do is comment there too. Your comment could be whatever you want to say. And while you're on Instagram, make sure to also follow Curlin. One little thing. In the comment that you leave me on YouTube, make sure you leave me either your Instagram handle or your email account because that helps me connect with you and also authenticate your identity should you win the giveaway. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Once again, thank you so much to Curlin for sponsoring this video. That was pretty much it. If you enjoyed curly hair content, make sure to check out these videos.